Good evening, Print Fam. Happy Monday. Welcome back to the print shop. My name is Darren. Normally, I'd say we got a lot to do today and I'd explain what we're doing, but the day's already over and I hadn't recorded an intro yet. Well, it's not really over, but it is, it is 520. So I've been working all day. So let me catch you up on what's happened. Printed a bunch of HP Prime Gloss on the large format printer. We had six, no, 12 sets of 25 to do. Um, one was 12 inches by four inches. One was 12 by 12 inches. Um, we got those all done. And before I go today, I'll go over the numbers. Um, we did some announcements for a bridal shower and an announcement for a church event. And now we need to do some menus. The customer sent me a picture of their menu from their phone and they want 2,000 copies. They're downtown from me, so I'm just gonna go pick up a copy so I can scan it. They do not have a digital copy. They want 2,000 copies that I'm out of paper my cheapo plain paper I go buy from Walmart because it's cheaper than Kelly. It's basically the same thing as Kelly and that's what customers want. Plain, cheap paper. So I'm gonna go pick up the menu, go to Walmart, get some more paper, come home, print the menus, and then I may deliver it. Um, I do have the one customer coming to pick up their order here in about 10 minutes, so I will wait for that. But Overall, I've been really happy with the day. Um, also stopped by the screen printer, dropped off an order for Bob, and I think that's about it. I do need to still get some artwork stuff done and then go run a few more errands. So, like I said, I'll do some math, figure out the numbers on, you can actually see the 12 by 12s are right there. The 12 by 4s I already delivered to the customer. Um, the 12 by 12s were not done. The nice thing about the 12 by 12s is I did a run of four. So there were three sets of six and I repeated the job four times. And then there was one set of the six that I ran. So I ran the set of the batch of four and then the batch of one. And then I left and while I was out running my errands, I remoted into my computer and saw that it was printing the batch of one. So I told it to send the batch of four again so that I could get nine total so that I would get the number that I need to give me 25 of each. And if you don't, if you don't have remote capability set up on your computers, I highly, highly suggest it. There's easy ways to do it, there's free ways to do it, there's paid ways to do it, um, but it's a huge lifesaver. Um, I will say I wish I had the take-up reel. I would not have needed to remote in to send the batch of four again because I would have just sent the whole thing initially and let it print and lined on the take-up reel, but it is still helpful. I've even used it for the Konica saying, hey, print the samples, I'm on my way home. That way the printer's warmed up, ready to go. The samples were outputted. Um, I've done it where I asked my wife to do something. So I was away, I said, hey, I need to print these. Can you print them? Put them in the other thing. I remote. I have remote desktop set up on that. So I made sure the barcode reader was on so that all she had to do was stick it in and push go. And it made it super simple. So highly, highly, highly suggest setting up a remote desktop application. I personally use a combination of TeamViewer and Remote Desktop because TeamViewer comes with a bundle that I buy for my um, remote monitoring management for some of the IT customers that I still have. And then Remote Desktop is what I normally use because it's just simple and easy. So love it, like it, suggest it. Let's go run some errands and get some more printing done.
Alright, the Konica is printing away. We are at 245 of 2,000 sheets. Um, I'm monitoring tray one so that as soon as it empties, I'll go fill it up. And then tray two will take over and then it'll go back to tray one. So hopefully it just won't stop. Um, I probably should have kept track of how long it's taking, but I didn't. Theoretically, I should do 40 pages a minute. So if it's not what I was expecting, 50 minutes. <laughs> Guess we'll find out. It'll be the longest print I've ever done if that's the case on the Konica. That's 13% done. Let's maybe, s we'll start a timer here. As soon as it hits 15%, we'll start it, which would be 300 sheets. Three, two, one, start. Okay, we'll time it until it hits 25%. So as soon as it hits 500 sheets, then we'll know roughly. Anyway, I wanted to go over the numbers for the HP Latex for all of the media that I did. Um, so I did eight batches of three wide basically for each of them, which each of those batches uh, was about 12 and three quarters square feet, 13 square feet. So I charge myself a dollar a square foot, and that covers the cost of the printer, maintenance, ink, media, etc. Um, so all in for the two batches of eight plus the batch of one, my total at the dollar per square foot gives me $311.61. Now, if I go off of just what, um, the media and ink cost are so not including all of the maintenance and the cost of the printer and everything like that media and ink was only a hundred and seven dollars and fifty two cents um, i charged this customer six hundred and fifty six dollars and twenty four cents which leaves me a profit of three hundred and forty four dollars and fifty eight cents going off of my higher number if i was going off just media and ink then I'm more like five hundred and forty dollars, five hundred five hundred fifty dollars roughly. So I do it based off of what the machine actually costs. Still very good profit. I was able to do other things at the same time, so it was it was worth it to me. There is a fifty percent profit margin, and. It didn't take all day. I was able to run the printer and do other things. Um, so that just gives you an idea. Um, normally, I try to sell it at $4 a square foot, but I will go as low as $2 a square foot. If it's a wholesale customer or if the artwork is prepared or if there's a large quantity, and I don't have to work for it, then I, I tried to get at least $4 a square foot for adhesive vinyl, and then I'll go as low as $2 a square foot. Um, but again, that's what I do, that's what works in my area. Don't charge what I charge just because I said it. Make sure you're getting what's available to you in your area. In my area, 4 to $5 a square foot is kind of the going rate. So let's finish the Konica printing. It's almost to that 25% and so far it's been about three minutes and 30 seconds. So I'll be back.
All right, we hit that 25%, which means we timed 10% of the job, which was five minutes and six seconds. In the printer's defense, it did switch to tray two, um, so that I think slowed it down a little bit. So it is definitely gonna take 50 minutes to run this whole job. It's a long time. That's, like I said, it's the longest single production job I've done on the Konica. All right, print fam, it's time for me to call it a night. Printer jammed while I was gone, so I'm finishing up the prints. But that's about it. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about what I do, why I do it, how I do it, etc., leave those questions down in the comments. Thank you, Cam, for editing the video. Really appreciate you. If you guys want to support the channel, you can do so yourself. Amazon affiliate, Patreon, all the other links down in the description. I very much appreciate you making comments, liking the video, and subscribing. I learned so much from all the comments, and I love the back and forth and the feedback. So make sure you comment with any questions or feedback or things that I could maybe do better. So really appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. Tomorrow we've got some masks to do and a few other things that I can't remember right now. So make sure you stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed so you can come back tomorrow and see all the fun that we're having. Bye, Prim Fam. Huge shout out to our patrons over at patreon.com forward slash TTMS.